so I'm going to uh, ring the chimes and we're going to begin with a song. Actually, we're going to begin with me talking first a little bit. <laughs> um, if you know who Pete Seeger is, I don't need to introduce why we are planning to spend four Sundays this year with him. If you don't know who he is, I could identify different parts, but that would only really, that would not really be um, telling us why we're spending time with his legacy. He was a folk musician. Uh, he was instrumental, pun intended in reviving the five-string banjo. He wrote some songs that you might know or was involved in their production or their spread. For example, he happened to share a song with Martin Luther King called We Shall Overcome. Uh, but let's start with the personal. So I was in my first year of university and I, oh, there was, the, the, sorry, the picture of Pete Seeger was on there and I didn't look so much like him back then. My beard was dark. Um, but, uh, um, and I was having an unhappy time. The local PBS station was having some concert for a fun drive, which they always seem to be doing whenever you turned on the TV. And two singers were on, one guy with a funny voice, um, who was Arvo Guthrie, and the, this old, tall, skinny guy with a banjo, who insisted that people sing along with every song. And what, and what struck me because um, I was mesmerized by the whole concert, was that this old guy was singing songs about things. Peace, the environment, justice, and so on. Who was this guy? And, uh, and to me, Pete is more than the sum of any parts. He was a force in himself and a model of belief in community. So we're going to sing today quite a bit. Uh, and like any Pete Seeger concert, if you've ever, ever had the honor of attending one, you would hear songs that you had never heard before. So I'm hoping that some of them will surprise you, besides the songs that you might be familiar with. But you are expected to sing both. And singing is the critical component today. And something that Pete would do was known as lining, uh, which I will be doing, even though the words you have in front of you. And that's where I say the words before we sing the words. And it kind of slows down the song, gives you a chance to, to figure out the melody and so on. And it also allows me to maybe do some lyrics that actually weren't written down uh, because things change, the world changes. It's like the spinning web there. Um, okay, harmonies are encouraged and failure is quite acceptable. Um, it's like plumbing. Life is like plumbing uh, where you, well, some people say when a certain age life is plumbing. I'm still at the age of metaphor. Uh, but uh, life is like plumbing. You have to do it several times before it comes out right. And that's what a harmony is like. So um, you just get a little bit wet and that's okay. Okay, so. Oh, had I a golden thread. Since you, if you, many of you don't know the lyrics or the melody, I'll, I'll sing it once first. Oh, had I a golden thread, needle so fine, I'd weave a magic strand, rainbow design. Innocence. 
In it I'd weave the innocence of children over all the earth, of children over all the earth. Children of all earth, far over the waters, far over the waters, I'd reach my magic band, I'd reach my magic band. Through foreign cities, through foreign cities, to every single land, to every single land, to every land. Show my brothers and sisters, show my brothers and sisters my rainbow design, my rainbow design. Bind up this sorry world, bind up this sorry world with hand and heart and mind, hand and heart and mind, hand and heart and mind, far over the waters, far over the waters, I'd reach my magic band, I'd reach my magic band to every human being, to every human being, so they would understand, so they'd understand. Now, one of the things that Pete would always encourage people to do would be to write lyrics to the songs. And he would say, make him relevant to you. So this is a verse written by a guy named Bill Goodman. I'd weave an end to guns and bombs. I'd weave an end to guns and bombs. Bury them under concrete floors. Bury them under concrete floors. The days of anger end. The days of anger end. And there be no more wars. There be no more wars. There be no more wars. And this one was written by Paula Belzy. In it I'd weave the dignity. In it I'd weave the dignity of folks in every land. Of folks in every land. In it I'd weave justice. In it I'd weave justice to strengthen every strand, strengthen every strand, every strand. Pete on his banjo, I don't have it, but imagine, this is Pete Seeger's banjo, and he has uh, words written around it. It says, this machine surrounds hatred and forces it to surrender. So I think we can adapt that to this, com this community surrounds hatred and forces it to surrender through song. As we begin, we pause to remember that the land where we gather has borne witness to thousands of years of indigenous history, culture, and spirituality, and continues to do so, which provides a rich and fertile context for us as we gather in religious community here at Westwood. For this, we are grateful. We acknowledge that traditional lands recognition is an important first step and we encourage everyone to examine what they can do to honor the 94 calls to action that are contained within the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada's report. And we have those 94 calls to action out in our hallway as we walk in. As people who are part of Treaty 6, we commit ourselves to the creation of an equitable, just, and compassionate relationship throughout our shared territory. Good morning, and West, welcome to Westwood Unitarian Congregation, one of many Unitarian Universalist congregations across the continent and around the world. 
We are a community of individuals on unique spiritual journeys. We welcome all persons of goodwill, whatever their culture, color, class, religion, gender, wealth, or the directions of their affections. My name is Rebecca Patterson, and my pronouns are she and her. I'm your service leader for this morning, um, and um, the backup singer. <laughs> She's going to teach you harmony. <laughs> um, so today, at our service is one of a series of four that Rob has generously offered over the course of the year. So we'll have two uh, before um, the winter solstice time and two after. Westwood is a welcoming congregation, and we do our best to support lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, two-spirited people, and all others in the diverse rainbow spectrum. Some members of our congregation use, gender neutral, use gender neutral or non-binary pronouns such as they and them. Using a person's preferred pronouns is a respectful way to show um, regard for a person's identity. So we encourage you to do your best and we will make mistakes, but we will um, do our best to make our congregation a model and a, a welcoming place. Uh, we aren't serving coffee yet because we're still being cautious uh, about the pandemic, but please do stay either in this room or in the Zoom room for a conversation after the service. One of uh, Pete Seeger's greatest heroes was a woman named Malvina Reynolds, and uh, she wrote a number of great songs. Um, you're probably might be Little Boxes is one of them, um, Turn Around, um, Magic Penny, um, uh, and uh, uh, Morning Town. Uh, those are some of the songs that she wrote. But uh, she wrote a poem uh, in around, I think, 1967 that uh, Pete uh, thought so highly of, he put it in his, uh, his memoirs. And we're going to have Carl and Virginia read portions of it throughout the, the service. You have been directed to look inside yourself for the meaning of life, for your soul. You may find nothing there, because the soul is not inherent. The soul is something we accumulate in the course of living. Living means love. Living includes work and conflict. How can you love if you do not face and resist the forces of destruction? Such a course requires courage, and courage is a true value. When Pete started, uh, he was, he conceived himself as a folk singer. And meaning he was singing old songs. And uh, one of his friends, Lee Hayes, would write these lyrics and he would keep giving them to Pete and say, put a melody to it, put a melody to it. And he'd say, I'm not a songwriter. Well, he eventually became a songwriter. Um, and, uh, and he encourages everybody to put melodies to words that you like or to put new words to old songs. And uh, uh, this is a song that uh, he wrote. Lee Hayes wrote the lyrics and Pete wrote it. And the Weavers recorded it, and it instantly became a, uh, a collectible, uh, as, as Lee Hayes, because nobody bought it. Uh, uh, Peter, Paul and, Peter, Paul, and Mary later recorded it, and it did become quite popular. They changed it a little bit, but Pete assures me that they both harmonized, so don't worry about it. Oh, and I, met, I forgot to mention, Pete always pitched everything for it to the key of seat. So if you feel comfortable sitting, you can. If you want to stand, you can. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So I'm not going to be saying, please stand up if you're willing and able. If you want to, stand up. If you don't, sit. OK. If I had a hammer, some of you may know it. If I had a hammer, hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the morning. Hammer in the evening, hammer in the evening, all over, all over. 
in this land. Hammer out danger, hammer out day, hammer out a warning, and hammer out a warning. And hammer out love between brothers and the sisters. Oh, all over this land. If I had a bell, if I had a bell, ring it in the morning, I'd ring it in the morning. Ring it in the evening, ring it in the evening, all over, all over this I'd ring out danger, ring out day, ring out a warning, I'd ring out a war, ring out love, I'd ring out love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this. If I had a song, if I had a song, sing it in the morning, I'd sing it in the Sing it in the evening, sing it in the evening. All over, all over this land. Sing out danger, sing out day, sing out a warning, sing out a wall, sing out love, and sing out love between my brothers and my sisters. All over this. Well, I've got a hammer, well, I've got a hammer, and I got a bell, and I got a and I got a song, and I got a song to sing all over this. It's the hammer of justice, for love. It's the bell of freedom, it's the bell of freedom. It's song of love, song about love between my brothers and my sisters. Oh, let's do that last verse again. Well, I got a hand, I got a bell, and I got a bell. And I got a song, and I got a song to sing all over this. It's a hammer of justice. It's the bell of freedom. Song of love. Oh, all over this With that, we're going to do the candles of joy and concern. <laughs> The lighting of candles of concern and celebration is a, a cherished tradition in many Unitarian Universalist congregations. It allows us to understand each other's words, worlds a little better, enabling us to share the joys and offer comfort to those with concerns. It helps us to be a true community. You may share with the congregation your joys or concerns, or you may choose to light a candle in silence. Our Zoom participants are invited to put up a hand and we'll let you know when we're ready for you to share. Um, and I invite everyone now to light candles of concern and celebration. Please come up and speak into the microphone if you're going to speak. I'll light one last candle to represent all the joys and concerns that remain in our hearts. Please join me in the affirmation. May the, the light, light of these candles, candles inspire us to use our power to heal and not to harm to help and not to hinder, to serve the spirit of truth in loving affection and trusting hope. Carl and Virginia are going to read part two. How can you live if you do not create in return for the sustenance you need? This requires effort, and effort is a true thing. It is the source of food and beauty, and in its use, of a resilient mind and body. The valid community <clears throat> is mutually supporting. You are not alone. You are nothing alone. Living together, working, communicating, has made us what we are a meaning. 
in the monster cities of our time, communities disappear. People are alien to one another. The system of values of now prevents them from helping one another. This is an old song, an old traditional song, and it's a great one for harmony, and it's also a very easy song because you don't have to remember anything. Um, you just can repeat whatever I sing. So, you know, we are, we are climbing, climbing Jacob's, Jacob's ladder. ladder. So, and then the last line is, that's the one where you don't repeat me. You say, brothers, sisters, all. Brothers, sisters, all. And that all, great time for harmonies. Okay. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. 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 Brother. Now, this is where, you know, I said I would be, I might be adding different verses. In honor of Friday, Truth and Reconciliation Day, we are all treaty people. We are all treaty Sisters, brothers, sisters, all. And here's one from what Rebecca was saying earlier. We are many kinds of pronouns. We are many kinds of what we're supposed to do. Every rung goes higher, higher. Every rung goes higher. Sarah's circle, and of course Sarah is the was the wife of Abraham. We are dancing Sarah's circle. We are dancing Sarah's circle. We are dancing Sarah. We are dancing Sarah's circle, 
brothers and sisters. Oh, every round of generation, every round of generation, every round. It's a story time. This is a story that Pete wrote. Uh, it's a children's story. And uh, um, it's been updated a little bit. Okay, so if you've heard an old recording of Pete, there's a few changes. This is, this the, this is a song that uh, is associated with it. Ab yo yo, ab yo yo, ab yo yo. Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo. Not too hard. Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo. Let's try it. Abby yo yo, 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 be yo yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo. So you're probably wondering who Abby yo yo was. Well, once upon a time in a land not so far away, there was a giant monster called Abioyo, and, and he terrorized the, the, the society. He would eat men, women, and children, horses, dogs, and cats, would stomp on houses, and, and his farts incredibly increased greenhouse gas emissions. <laughs> and, but some people, some people didn't believe in Abioyo because they didn't believe that there was sufficient scientific consensus. And then other people didn't believe it because they figured it was a conspiracy to restrict their freedoms. <laughs> and in this town, there was, there was a, a young woman named Rebecca, <laughs> who had a magic wand. And, and she could wave the wand and make things disappear, which was kind of cool. Except Rebecca had an inappropriate sense of humor. <laughs> so somebody would have a hard day of work and they were ready to, you know, they were so thirsty, about to drink a nice cool glass of lemonade and, and Rebecca would go thup, thup, and it would disappear. Or somebody would be working at the ER for, you know, 17 hours, and they'd come home, and they just want to sit down. And Rebecca would go, thup, thup, and the chair would disappear. Oh, so inappropriate. <laughs> and eventually, you know, people just got fed up with Rebecca. And they said, get out of town. And there was also a young boy named Pete. We'll call him Pete. And he was also kind of annoying because he had a ukulele and he would always be making up songs and it drove people crazy after a while. Hey Carl, see ya tomorrow. Hey Carl, I'll see ya tomorrow. And they'd go, tomorrow? What the hell is that? Or I'd rather see Virginia than a snail. <laughs> and eventually they said, get out, you can go with Rebecca. <laughs> and, and so poor Rebecca and Pete are, are ostracized by this community. And then one day, <laughs> it's Abby Yoho! And people, <laughs> 
people are freaking out. They're running. They're running away. They say, run for your lives. It's Abby Yo-Yo. It's Abby Yo-Yo. And Abby Yo-Yo is stomping towards the town. And he sees the people who don't believe in scientific consensus. And he picks them up. And he puts them in his pocket. And he goes, that's for lunch. <laughs> and he comes up. And he sees the people who believe it's a conspiracy. And he picks them up and puts them in his pocket. He says, that's supper. And then he picks up a horse, and he picks up a cow. He just swallows them whole. And people are just, it's just so upsetting. And Rebecca, and Rebecca goes, oh, she says this to Pete, if only, if only we could make him stop. Just, just settle down. I could use my magic wand and make him disappear. And Pete goes, I have an idea. And so he makes up a song. You probably know it. Abba yo yo, abba yo yo, and he's singing as loud as he can. But the problem is, this is what the giant hears. Abba yo yo, abba yo yo, abba yo yo, because he's so tall. So we're gonna have to help Pete. <laughs> abba yo yo, abba yo yo, abba yo yo, abba yo yo. Ah, be yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo. Well, the giant had never heard a song with his name in it. And he got, he got excited. He went, oh. And he started dancing. Ah, be yo yo, 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 be yo yo, be yo yo. And Pete started playing faster and faster. Abby yo yo, 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 Abby yo yo. Well, the giant soon got so tired, he just fell over in exhaustion. And then Rebecca pulls out her wand. Zip zip. Nothing happened. Oh no. Oh no. And Pete said, I guess you can't do it alone. I guess everybody's going to have to help support Rebecca. So everybody, on the count of three, we're all going to go zoop zoop. Ready? One. I don't see the wands. Hello? One, two, three. Zoop zoop! And the giant was gone. And the people that were in his pockets, they still didn't believe in him. But it didn't matter because everybody else in the town worked together. And because he swallowed the horse and the, and the cow, okay, I know you're worried about that, they also were, were just there because he swallowed them whole, so he didn't digest them yet. Okay. So whenever you encounter a big problem, like global warming or uh, injustice or truth and reconciliation, just remember Abiyoyo. Working together. Everybody sing. Abba yo yo, 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 Be yo yo, Be yo yo, Abba yo yo, Be yo yo, Be yo again. Abba yo yo, Abba. How about a harmony? Abba yo yo, Abba yo yo. Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo. Abby yo yo, be yo. Oh, I'm hearing a harmony. Where is that? Is that from Rebecca? Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo. Abby yo yo, Abby yo yo. Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo. Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo. Now, part three of the Malvina Reynolds poem. I believe that a new community is happening. It is smothered many times by the establishment, but it is bound to grow again. Conversation is thinking in its natural state. Thinking is the conversation within us. 
Okay, this this service. Sorry, I have to have to do a little bit of tuning here for this song. It's called "Tomorrow Is a Highway," and now you're going to find out why. Uh, Okay, um, this was a song, again, written by Lee Hayes, where Lee Hayes came up to Pete and goes, write some music. And uh, so he wrote uh, this, this song, Tomorrow is a Highway. And if you were ever wondering why Pete Seeger was uh, hauled before the House of Un-American Activities, um, the lyrics of this song will probably suffice, as it uh, speaks of comrades and marching and fellow travelers. <laughs> so. Um, so it, it was, it was uh, one of these problematic songs, but Tomorrow is a Highway, and uh, it's built on, uh, interestingly enough, Deck the Halls. So uh, it, it starts off by going down, just like Deck the Halls. Tomorrow is a highway broad and fair. Tomorrow is a highway broad and fair. And then we're going to go up. And we are the many who will travel there. And we are the many who will travel there. And then guess what we do? We're going to go down. Tomorrow is a highway broad and fair. Now we're going to stutter a bit. We're going to go, and we are the workers. And then we're going to go up. Who will build it there? And we are the workers who build it there. And then we just kind of affirm that. And we will build it there. OK. And I'll say the line before anyway. <laughs> oh, just a minute. I think I just messed up my, my key. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow is a highway, tomorrow is a highway broad and fair. And we are the many, and we are the many who will travel there. Tomorrow is a highway, wait, tomorrow. Let us build a way for humanity. Come, let us build a way for humanity. A way to come together in community. A way to come together in community. To travel onward to a better year. To travel onward to a better year. Where love is and there will be no fear. Where love is and there will be no fear and love is and no fear now is the shadow time when evil folk now is the shadow time when evil folk disdain the peace and evil war provoke disdain the peace and evil war provoke Shall tyrants once again be free to tread? Shall tyrants once again be free to tread? Above our most brave and honored dead. Above our most brave and honored dead. Our brave and honored dead. Oh, comrades, come and travel on with me. Oh, comrades, come and travel on with me. We'll go to our new year of liberty. We'll go to our new year of liberty. Come walk upright along the people's way. Come walk upright along the people's way. From darkness unto the people's day. From darkness unto the people's day. 
from dark to sunlit day. Tomorrow is a highway broad and fair. Tomorrow is a highway broad and fair. And hate and greed shall never travel there. And hate and greed shall never travel there. But only they who've learned the peaceful way. But only they who've learned the peaceful way. Of unity to greet the coming day. Of unity to greet the coming day. To greet the coming day. This is this is a, the next one you probably haven't heard this one. I just have to retune. One thing about the banjo, as I told Rebecca, if I, I, I think Rebecca has perfect pitch, so I apologize, <laughs> um, because the same with the twelfth string, you're kind of nearby uh, the note. I should tell, I should tell, the, the, one of the ways that Pete uh, played the banjo, because if you're, if you're used to hearing like bluegrass banjo, you're going, that's not it. Um, and uh, it's called claw style. Well, his, his is a variation of claw style. And it's called claw style, guess why? Because your hand looks like a claw. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Pete would pluck, I apologize to Zoom people here, uh, but uh, Pete would pluck up strum down, and then you always hit the fifth string as a drone, which is out of key. There we go. And uh, a true claw hammer, you're always pushing down. So you, you hit with your nail, strum, and then you pick, uh, pick that fifth string up. Um, and Pete also had another way of playing called double thumbing. And what was really annoying about Pete, because he was so talented, is that he would, he would break into one or the other at the same time. So he would do the, the, the just incredibly complicated things. He, could, he also mastered other forms of the banjo, could play like the, the three-finger style of bluegrass and stuff. He just didn't, really. Um, his, 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 his brother was actually far better at that than Pete was because he, he preferred the uh, Appalachian style here. Okay, so this next song is something that Pete wrote in the late uh, 60s. I've, I've changed a couple of verses. Um, it's called, a, it's a zipper song, uh, which means that uh, you just, you change one thing and you have a new verse. It's great. Uh, and you can go on and on. But the last verse always has to change everything. So don't peek. Um, you... Words, words, words in my old Bible. How much of truth remains if I only understood them? While my lips pronounce them, would not my life be changed? So don't worry about the second verse, a uh, second line. Just get the rest. So words, 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 words. In the charter of rights and freedoms, how much of truth remains? How much of truth remains if I only understood them? If I only understood them while my lips pronounce them, while my lips pronounce them, would not my life be changed? Words, 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 words. In old songs and stories, how much of truth remains? How much of truth remains if I only understood them? 
If I only understood them While my lips pronounce them Would not my life be changed? We're gonna add a new verse in honor of the Truth and Reconciliation Day. Words, words, words in disregarded treaties. How much of truth remains? How much of truth remains? If I only understood them while my lips pronounce them, would not my life be changed? Now here's the changing verse. Words, words, words. Words, words, words. On worn out old pages. How much of truth remains? How much of truth remains? If my mind could understand them. If my mind could understand them, and my life pronounce them and my life pronounce them would not this world would not this world be changed let's do that last verse again words 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 on worn out old pages how much of truth remains if my mind if my mind could understand and my life and my life pronounce them would not this world would not this world be changed and now part four words distinguish us from the blessed beasts Words began in human beings in the process of transforming gregariousness into cooperation. But words corrupted to manipulate others for selfish purposes are as poisonous as polluted water. Being is the process of becoming. Now and all that went before and the direction in which it is going. He would say about uh, when Pete was still alive, of course, because um, he didn't say much after he was dead, um, that uh, he, he said, to, oh, how he misses Malvina Reynolds and her wisdom. And uh, I think uh, you got a taste of that today. Okay, so I said either or or both. And I think we have time for both. Yes. Okay. So um, this uh, we're going to do River of My People first. Um, this is based. Oh, sorry. Did I just throw you off completely? Okay. Um, thank you. Okay. Um, I do that. Ask my wife. Uh, Stenka Rink. Uh, sorry. Stenka Razin uh, was a um, legendary Cossack. And this song is supposedly a Russian song, um, and that's one of the. There's a reason I'm singing it. Okay, so, uh, and it's a horrible song, because it's about this Stenka Razin who was uh, got married, and his crew on on the the River Don said, oh, "You're no longer a man." So he took his wife and threw her overboard and let her drown. Um, to show that he was a real guy. Um, and uh, and Pete, as Pete says, so much for tradition. But So he wrote new lyrics to this song, because it's such a great song. But at the same time, when you look up the history, well, he was a Cossack. He wasn't a Russian. That means he was Ukrainian. And uh, uh, Stenka Razin was leading a revolt uh, of the peasants. And, uh, and, uh, and until the Tsar, brought out his whole army and, and crushed them. So this is in the, around 1630 that this happened. So of course, just like similar today, they altered the history a little bit. So, um, so I, you know, slander, slander. Um, but uh, this, uh, you're gonna learn some harmonies. You're gonna try some harmonies because Rebecca's gonna teach you a high harmony and, and I'll try 
for those people who want to go in the basement. We can do a little low harmony. And uh, so the harmonies that each verse, as you can see, is six lines, but it's not really. It's really four lines, and we're going to repeat these last two. And this is where you're going to try harmonies. And you're just going to try, and you're going to miss. And it'll be great, because it'll all work out. It's like, it's like when you go to the, you know, a hockey game or something, and, and everybody spontaneously sings in the same key. How does that happen? But it does. There, there. and strong. I, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble seeing this, so I just need to change this. Okay. There's a river of my people, and the flow is swift and strong, flowing to some mighty ocean, though it's cold. I could go to the mic. <laughs> Is it, do you repeat the same melody? Yeah, we're repeating the same melody. So if you don't, if, you, if you're not into harmony, just sing the melody. So I'll sing the melody and she's going to teach you a harmony. No, just, just teach the harmony first. Okay. Okay. Just try that. <laughs> Flow into some mighty ocean, though its course is deep and long. Now, some of you want to go really low. Flow into some mighty ocean, though its course is deep and long. Many rocks and reefs and mountains. Many rocks and reefs and mountains. See to bar it from its way. But relentlessly this river seeks its brothers in the sea. Notice the change. But This river, for we have mapped this river. Wait, I know. Where my brothers wait, I know. They 
hasten onward to that meeting where my sisters wait I know huh. and last song this song was written by Alex Comfort. Um, Alex Comfort is also the person he wrote a little famous book in the 1970s, The Joy of Sex. Um, uh, but this is uh, written in 1958, this song. He was hanging around those, uh, the, the Coalition for Nuclear Disarmament in England, uh, the people who gave us the peace sign. And uh, the peace sign is actually, that's what it's, it's the Coalition for Nuclear Disarmament. That's what the, the, the letters are in the peace sign. And uh, so, uh, uh, so Alex Comfort was involved with that and he wrote these lyrics and Pete put them to music. Just my hands. Just my hands can tear a prison down. Just your hands, just your hands can tear a prison down but if two and two but if two and two and fifty make a million see that day come round just a minute I actually need to see the chords for this one <laughs> I thought I knew it there we go okay um, Yes, okay, sorry. Okay, just my hand. Just my hands can't tear a prison down. Just your hands. Just your hands can't tear a prison down. But if two and two and fifty, but if two and two and fifty make a million, we'll see that day come round. We'll see that day come round. We'll see that day come round. Just my voice. Just my voice can't shout to make them hear. Just your voice. Just your voice can't shout to make them hear. But if two and two, but if two and two and fifty make a million, we'll see that day come round, we'll see that day come round, we'll see that day come round. Just my strength, just my strength, can't ban the atom bomb. Just your strength, just your strength, can't ban the atom bomb. But if two and two, but if two and two and fifty make a million, we'll see that day come round. We'll see that day come round. Just my strength can't bring the racists down. Just my strength can't bring the racists down. Just your strength can bring the races down. But if two and two and fifty make a million, we'll see that day come round. We'll see that day come round. Just my eyes can't see the future clear. Try some harmony. Just my eyes can't see the future clear. Just your eyes, just your eyes can see the future clear. But if two, but if two and two and fifty make a million, we'll see that day come round. We'll see. I guess we're out of verses, so let's just do it one more time. Just my eyes can't see the future clear. Just your eyes can't see the future clear. But if two, but if two and two and fifty make a million, we'll see that 
There's one, there's a bit, I thought, I made a mistake. Mistakes allowed here. <laughs> the soul is not an inner pearl. It is a patina created as an individual functions in a community. Not knowing, people called it God, for it was not in the unique self nor in the world, so they could not explain it. The soul is a function of communal being. talking to Paula about this service today and she mentioned to me that when she was in the, tenth, the uh, fifth grade in a private school in New York City, um, this was when uh, Pete Seeger had been banned. I uh, remember the, the, the weavers were not able to get any work and um, so he was banned as a member of that from the, his livelihood and at that point he, he taught at the school where Paula was, and he came in every week and uh, taught the, uh, the kids songs. So uh, it was uh, uh, something that Pete did with, um, because of being banned in the whole McCarthy era, uh, he also went around to universities and uh, where he, he, they would have him come for just a concert by himself. And so he, he actually did a huge communication thing across the whole country, even though, uh, so it sort of backfired. <laughs>